And now, in studio, bringing his Midwest values from the show me state to the land of San Diego. He's a triple threat, licensed as an attorney, mortgage broker, and a top producing realtor who's crushing the competition. Here to deliver you what's happening in the trenches of the market, your host, Michael Gaddis. Welcome to the Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170 The Answer. I am your host, Michael Gaddis of FrontierLoanGroup.com and MichaelGaddis.com. And I am here every Monday night at 7 p.m. to talk about anything and everything related to real estate. And today we're on Facebook Live, so you can watch the recording of this show live right now. So I want to welcome our Facebook audience and I want to welcome our uh, radio audience. So. I want to get started today talking a little bit about reverse mortgages. Uh, I'm going to talk mainly about don't judge reverse mortgages until you learn the facts. And I think that, you know, there's a lot of mis myths and misconceptions about reverse mortgages out there. There's a lot of uh, misinformation floating around. And how do I know this? I know this because I attend workshops and seminars throughout the uh, state of California. And it never, it never ceases to amaze me that whenever I go to one of these, I hold one of these workshops or I go to one of these senior events, that people will come up to me and start, you know, give me dirty looks and start looking at me going, oh, that's a, that's a terrible product. And what I say is this, you know, when you're, when you're doing it, when, when it comes to reverse mortgages and you see me, there's no reason for you necessarily to, you know, tell me, oh, it's a terrible loan product. What that tells me is that you don't understand the product. You might walk past my booth or walk past me and say, you know, reverse mortgages, that's not for me, but you should never give me a dirty look or say, oh, that's a terrible product. That just shows that you really don't understand the product. And I don't blame a lot of people because there is, especially on the internet, there's so much misinformation and such a lack of knowledge regarding it. And, you know, to be honest with you, reverse mortgages are not the right solution for every senior. I mean, it's not the right choice for everyone. But for those that it does, that uh, can qualify for it and that do want it, it can literally change the quality of their life. So I want to talk a little bit about that. One of the first things I want to talk about is the term reverse mortgage in and of itself. Reverse mortgage is technically a home equity conversion mortgage. It's, an, it's uh, backed by the FHA. Now the reason I mention this difference in the name is because I had a lady who came up and, and uh, saw me, oh, I'd say a few months ago, and she, I had a booth at an event, and she said, you know, Michael, she says, I don't like reverse mortgages at all. She goes, I think they're a terrible product. I'd never get one. She says, I'm considering a home equity conversion mortgage. And I said, well, you do realize that those are the same thing. And, and that just shows you the lack of education that, that's out there regarding it. And when she realized that it was the same product, you know, she just, she got a little bit embarrassed. But at the same time, I took the opportunity to try to educate her and, and to exactly what a uh, reverse mortgage is and, you know, how it can help a senior. So a lot of uh, financial planners are, are talking about reverse mortgages and basically uh, using them as another tool in the toolbox for financial planning and retirement. It's not the only tool, hopefully. Hopefully there's other things that can be there, but it is something that should be considered because it really can change the quality of a senior's life. I have literally seen seniors who are on such a fixed income that after they pay their bills, they don't have any money to go out to eat. They don't have any money to um, uh, to go to a movie. They don't, and if the price of gas goes up, they might not even have enough money to go to church. So it's they're on such tight incomes that a, rever that a reverse mortgage will literally free them up. Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the benefits of a reverse mortgage and 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 some of the misconceptions of it. Number one is their misconception is that you lose title to your house. You do not lose title to your house in a reverse mortgage. The reverse mortgage always stays in your, the house always stays in your name. So you're, it, it will, if, when, when you pass away, whatever is left will, will go to your heirs and assigns. So it is, you never lose title. The title will always remain in either your name or your trust name, whatever it might be. And there's a lot of people out there who believe that if you get a reverse mortgage, you basically just turn the keys to your house over and that's it. And that's not right. So let's say, for example, um, you know you pass away 10 years after getting a reverse mortgage. Whatever's left in the principal balance of your house is basically uh, goes to your estate. Your your heirs will come in, and they'll either pay off what you've borrowed or they'll sell the home. They'll do something to that effect. 
So that's the, one of the, the largest, probably the, the biggest uh, misconception that there is. In fact, when I go to events, and I, one of the first things I ask people is, how many of you out there think that you lose title to your house when it comes to a reverse mortgage? And usually 40 to 50% of the people will raise their hands. So that kind of tells you, you know, a little bit about what's, what's going on out there. Uh, the second thing is uh, reverse mortgages eliminate your monthly mortgage payment. Now, that is true. So a lot of seniors who are on fixed income, you know, if, let's say they have a, you know, $800 mortgage payment. Well, if that's eating into their, you know, their fixed income every month, the, the ability to eliminate that is huge because that money that they were paying towards their mortgage becomes disposable income to them. Now, there's a couple important things to note about that statement that reverse mortgages will eliminate your monthly mortgage payment. And the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau wants to make sure that everybody is well aware of you know, these limitations. So number one, you're still responsible for ta property taxes and insurance. That's the number one thing. So unless you have what's called a loan expectancy set aside put in, established into your loan, you are still responsible for property taxes and insurance. The other thing that is very important to note is that when you eliminate your mortgage payment, it doesn't necessarily mean you're not making payments. What happens is, instead of you making payments directly to um, the lender from your fixed income, basically your house is making the payments for you. So your interest payment is being paid for by your house. So your principal balance will go up over time. So you know a lot of people are like, oh, but I'm losing equity if I do that. And, and, and that could be true. Um, you are using the equity to help pay for your house, but you're also, if you weren't using the equity to pay for your house, you would be using your fixed income to pay for your house, so you would be losing that. So also, the other thing to keep in mind is that your house appreciates over time. So a lot of the deferment, not deferment necessarily, but the payments, the principal increase that you have is offset or could be offset by future appreciation in the house. I wouldn't necessarily you know, bank on that or guarantee that, but it is a factor that's there. And then the other thing is, if you have another resource such as, a, you know, such as a, you know, um, an IRA or some other investment account, and you're pulling from it, every single month to subsidize your, the, your cost of living, you're actually, that account is going down too. So there is no perfect solution. The perfect solution would be you eliminate your mortgage payment and you don't have to uh, make any payments whatsoever and you don't have to pay any money back. That's a perfect solution, but it's not necessarily reality. So, but the ability for some seniors to do this is amazing. And for a lot of people, they might say, oh, I'd never do that. You know, that would, that, that's not something I would do. You have to put your, you have to walk in the shoes of these seniors before you, you make a, a judgment like that. You have to see what they do and how they live their lives and how this might better their future before you make a statement like, oh, don't do that, that's not what you want to do. What I always tell people is learn. You have to learn and you have to figure out what, is, what the benefits are and what the considerations are. And then you weigh those two and you determine Okay, well, you know, in this instance, my, the benefits far outweigh the considerations, or the considerations are too much for me. But you have to educate yourself first. That is the, that's the biggest thing. I say, educate yourself, because otherwise you'll be doing yourself or a loved one a complete disjustice. So you're listening to The Michael Gaddis Show on AM 1170, The Answer. I am your host, Michael Gaddis of FrontierLoanGroup.com and MichaelGaddis.com, and we're talking about reverse mortgages, and don't judge reverse mortgages until you learn the facts. The other thing we need to talk about is uh, another uh, thing that is important is to, you can live in the house for as long as you live or until you cease living there for more than consecutively for more than one year. So what that means is you're still responsible for your taxes and insurance. And as long as you maintain your taxes and insurance payment and the main, general maintenance of the house, just get things you would normally do, you can live in your house for the rest of your life without worrying about getting kicked out. So it is important to note that even if you live to be 120 years old and set the Guinness Book of World Records for the oldest living person in the world, you can still do that. And the, the reason you can do that is because what's, what, of what some people put onto the other side of the, uh, of the balance, which is the FHA insurance. The FHA, the Federal Housing Administration, it basically insures these loans and basically gives, uh, gives the investors on these loans a sense of security which allows them to be comfortable with the fact that you can live in there as long as you live. You do have to, as I said, continue to pay for your property taxes and insurance, but as long as you meet your obligations, you are good to go. 
Another thing I just mentioned is that they are FHA insured. So that is important because that insurance protects you. Um, the other thing is, is that it, the, it, the reverse mortgage program is extremely flexible and it has a line of credits. If you are eligible, if basically after we do the analysis, we determine that you can borrow enough to establish a line of credit. The line of credit for me is one of the most powerful features of a reverse mortgage. It, it, it grows exponentially, especially if you can establish a large line of credit. And I've talked about it on shows before, but to me that's the greatest thing. But the, uh, the, one of the greatest features of the reverse mortgage besides eliminating the mortgage payment is the line of credit. So uh, the next thing is that Social Security and Medicare benefits are not affected and that this is a non-recourse loan with no prepayment penalties. No prepayment penalties. You don't like it, you can get out of it. That's, that's the truth. And it's non-recourse, which means that the, the, the only asset I mean, that the, your, that the uh, creditor can go after, the lender can go after, is the house itself. That's their only interest. Meaning if for some reason you live beyond 20 and you exceed the amount of money that you owe, then the lender's only recourse is to come after the house itself, not after the estate, not after the heirs. That's it. So the only thing I want to say out of this segment is don't judge reverse mortgages until you learn the facts because far too many people do and I think there's a lot of seniors who take advice from people who are, who are being uh, not uh, given a, uh, are being, a, I can't even think of the word, who are not being given proper advice. I think that you just need to become knowledgeable about it before you make a decision. But I do believe in making educated decisions. Well, after the break, we're going to come back and talk a little bit about um, uh, real estate marketing. That's what we're going to talk about next on The Michael Gattis Show.